Hello, welcome to Ghana Slovak TV. Today we shall be discussing movements from various clubs. As soon as you know, uh, this is the transfer window. So clubs are busy buying, some are selling. But in this case, we are going to be discussing Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal, and Man City. Um, we are going to start from Arsenal. Arsenal, as you well, as so everybody has known, it's, it's in the public domain, has bought um, David Raya. David Raya is moving from Brentford. But the news about this movement is that Edu and his team, they pulled up another master stroke. They've done the impossible where Bayern has failed, where Tottenham has failed, where Chelsea has failed, they have been able to negotiate a deal for £3 million. Pounds. They have been now on loan for £3 million. Pounds. Well, Arsenal will be involved in paying his wages. And £27 million pounds plus to be able to buy David Rea at the end of the season after one year. So... Arsenal able to strike that deal with um, with uh, Brentford. Other clubs attempted to do the same; they could not, but in a different way. But Edu and his team able to pull this one out. So Davide has said bye bye to all his friends, to his colleagues at Brentford. He's prepared to be number two or compete for number one position at Arsenal. So he should have done his medical. So we'll be hearing news very soon that the medical has been completed. Another news I want to bring to you is about Man City and West Ham. Man City has made a verbal proposal, according to Fabrizio Romano, for 70 million for the purchase of Paqueta. Paqueta is West Ham player. West Ham has not accepted the bid because they want more money. They want more money for Paqueta. They know Man City wants him. They know the player is keen on joining Man City, the treble winners. Therefore, uh, West Ham is not saying yes yet. They want more money. Remember how they wanted more money too for Declan Rice. So they've started it again with uh, Man City. Another club we'll be moving to is another club that um, we know doesn't win anything. They are in North London. They are called Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, Tottenham. Their prime and only assets that can be deemed to bring enough money to the club, Harry Kane, their striker, an England international, a prolific goal scorer, is on the radar for Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich has been holding a series of meetings with Tottenham and the executives, the owners. And they even flew down to London to hold the last meeting a week or so ago. Um, recent report coming now is that Bayern has bidded 94.5 million pounds uh, for Hurricane and Tottenham has accepted the bid. Therefore, bearing any uh, setback, like Hurricane say, I'm not going again, is almost deemed as going to be a Bayern Munich player any moment. So, hurricane to Bayern Munich is imminent. We're just waiting for a here we go from everybody to confirm that deal. And the final one I want to bring to you, which is already in the public domain, is that there's a two horse race for Lavia. Lavia plays for Southampton. Lavia plays for Southampton. Liverpool bidded 45 million for Lavia. 
Satanthin rejected their bid. And a new club has bidded again. And that club is Chelsea. Chelsea has bidded 48 million, 3 million above what Liverpool has bidded. We don't know whether Liverpool will come back. And we don't know whether Southampton will accept the bid. Because Southampton says they want 50 million. This is a quick update for you to know players' movement. So that when the season starts, you are seeing Lavia playing somewhere. Or you are seeing somebody else playing somewhere. You will not be shocked. You already know that you were told that they were going to move. Arsenal is also looking at getting another reinforcement. I don't call it fake news, but there is gossip in the papers that um, Barella, a place for uh, for an Italian club, Barella will be moving to Arsenal while uh, they think Arsenal want to trade off Tommy Yasu and Falari Balogu. No, there's no truth in that. So until it's confirmed, we can't be saying such thing. And I don't think Arsenal will be partnering with Tomiyasu because he's still under contract and he's part of the uh, debt we are saying we need at Arsenal. So that news might as well go to sleep. And um, just to say that our comments on this channel, opinions, are uh, what we feel like. So when we get comments that are not uh the same with us we welcome them but we do them we expect them to be done decently and with dignity so we appreciate all comments please try and still send your comments and just put a, a bit of dignity to it uh decent words uh let's not use abusive words so that um, we can all enjoy the forum and uh, exchange ideas on what we think about any player and about any club. If this is your first time to come on this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, continue to bring in your comments. Share this video to your friends. And I'll see you when I forecast um, a lineup for Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest at the Emirates on the 12th. Bye.